My name is Angel Fernandez. I'm a tiny Trudopina. I'm only four foot eleven. I checked the other day. I thought I was five feet, but I'm actually four eleven. I'm so sad now. But what I need, what I would like, is a good man, and we can live in the province with all the little mangoes. You pick them from the trees. Juicy mangoes on my family's plantation. They have a massive mango farm. It is very silly. I don't know how they got all those. But it makes me happy to know there's good men out there who love to run us on your channel, sir. It is a very, very happy thing. And it makes me smile because then I want to make you a dobo for hours. And let the meat just soak. Do you like the sour seeding out? Hmm? Is that what you like? I will make that for you, no problem. I cook and clean every day. My house, it takes five minutes. It's not difficult. Why are the why are the women in your country so angry? Why are they always so so sad? I want to give them a hug. Because I'm sweet. But I also know that I have a temper, sir. And sometimes I throw tempo tantrums. And then you look at me like I'm crazy. You look at me like I am two years old, but it's not true. I just want to hold your pinky finger down the street. Because you are very sweet. And this is true. Now I'm getting into Chinese. I'm kidding. Legionnaires unite! Oh, scared the lady with the with the baby. She didn't like that. She got a little nervous. See? 20 pound shaved head white guy uh, who looks a little deranged. Who has shoes, literally, that look like freaking, you know, these creepy boats. Right? When you see some dude like that, and he moves rather quickly for his size, <laughs> explosively. <laughs> it can be a little off-putting. It can be a little scary <laughs> when he's coming straight at you and he's screaming or shouting at the top of his freaking lungs. It can be a little un un uh, unstable. So <laughs> watch out for those, especially if they're wearing light vests and kind of insane. But... <laughs> I had a great couple of streams the past few days, guys. About 75% of them got demonetized. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> they're always monetized at first and then demonetized. Oh, oh my God. So deflating, but it is what it is, man. You just gotta roll with the punches. So if I can get my views up, which they are steadily, steadily increasing. It's a, guys, I'm very transparent with all of you. To my Legionnaires, I'm very transparent, man. I'm really transparent because in all reality, you got to build trust on these types of things. You see all these strange channels popping up. You want to know what's really funny? And I'm going to tie this all back together. You see all these channels popping up of guys, you know, grifters, etc. Guys are very wary, aware of this and very wary at the same time. It's just funny because a lot of these new pill, these new channels, they literally have AI announcers. AI. It's just some dude behind a screen. It's not even a dude. It's some AI guy. It's some AI bot. That's essentially <laughs> reading off a teleprompter. Men must go overseas to get foreign women. And you can tell it's just, guys, it's getting crazy out there. But anyway, eventually guys like me will be replaced. It is what it is. You just got to be prepared and be ready to pivot and work on these types of things and have extra skills. But what's funny is I see more and more content about going overseas. I see, you know, it's been, it's been trendy recently, right? But in all reality, guys, most men have never met a traditional foreign woman. And I'm very aware of this in the West. Most because most Western men have never left the continent. They never left the continent. So for them, 
it's very foreign. It's it, literally. And I've had employees in India, overseas, ironically, who had traditional foreign <laughs> It's just funny because I've been exposed to so much, so many different cultures my whole life in, in massive cities, small cities, rural towns. I've had this constant exposure to traditional foreign women. So we're going to get into it today. We're going to unravel all the new things that are coming. It's going to be great. I need you guys to hit the like button. The like button is the most important thing. Because if my stream gets demonetized, guys, it stinks. It really stinks. I'm not making enough money off these streams to uh, earn a living, to be honest with you. And it's not your guys' problem or fault. It's just I got to get these likes up. Got to get these views up. I got to hustle two, three, four, five, six streams a day, whatever it takes in order to get to where I want to be. So every like that you guys put out there pushes this content in the right direction, right? And I want you guys to be prepared for that. Isn't that right, Kaylee? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a Kaylee. It's not... It, I've got an MIT shirt on, but I don't even know what it means. <laughs> Kaylee's are so funny, man. They're pure entertainment. They just make me laugh, man. Guys, I've known... It's almost second nature because... <laughs> They usually have a dog. <laughs> they're trying to get their ed education. <laughs> oh, they're funny, man. <laughs> so funny. It's funny because all the Indian guys who watch, because there's a lot of guys in India, a lot of Indian subscribers I've been getting lately. It's crazy. And by the way, India, shout out to India, is literally the biggest YouTube market in the entire world. They have way more way more channels, excuse me, in India than anywhere else in the world. I mean, seriously, guys, you think YouTube's big in America? Uh-uh. India's like two, three times the size. And well, obviously, because India just has a mass, mass, massive pos population, massive young population. They're going to take over as the number one country population-wise in the entire world. They are going to surpass China. So if you're looking for traditional women, there's a lot of them in India, to be honest with you. There are a lot. A lot. It's just crazy. So just another country. Shout out to all my Indian brethren out there. Indian guys are really, they're interesting, man. They, ha they have a lot, a lot, a lot of tech knowledge over there. They're constantly getting really, really good educations. Hit that like button, guys. I really appreciate the likes. Get them to 50%. Every like you submit makes a massive, massive difference. You have no idea. But today, I really wanted to get into uh, the existence of traditional foreign women. And ironically, I've been working with a sponsor. I've been talking with this sponsor, potential sponsor, for... Uh, couple weeks now and I'm doing my due diligence doing my research they could be a good match for this channel and the more sponsors I can get guys the more I can be unfiltered because then I won't rely on any ad sets so this is something that I have to I have to really consider and I have to see if they'll be these sponsorships can be good long time um, if they can be good long-term partners if we can both make money, if we can both sell, right? I have to be very, very careful as well as strategic about the sponsorships I put on this channel. And there's been a lot have, who have come to the door, but I really haven't taken them seriously, mainly because their products didn't really align with this channel, right? So it's another thing I have to be very aware of because with my subs, with my subscribers, you build a certain amount of trust and you want to make sure that you're delivering with your message as well as your sponsor's message. Your sponsor's, what's it called? Uh, product, service, whatever. So it's very important to make sure all of these things align. And so I've been speaking with this one sponsor for a couple of weeks now. And I might put an affiliate link 
in the description. For those of you guys who are curious about talking to traditional foreign women, to women who have more religious, they have more, uh, what's it called, uh, conservative values, right? They are more, uh, they're less liberal. So be prepared for that. Take a look at it. If I do put the link in, you'll see it in the description of these streams, of my videos. If I find that the product lines with our values, because the majority of guys on this channel are conservative, right? They're not really necessarily, they, they'll, the majority of guys on this channel, from what I've seen, what they want, they, they, they'll go for liberal hookups. They'll go for hookups, but they won't necessarily, they will not obviously, they're, they're looking for more conservative relationships. There's no doubt about it. The guys on this channel want crude conservative relationships. Thank you guys for the likes. Your likes are massively appreciated. You have no idea. Because if I get demonetized, I mean, you know, it's hours and hours and hours with the work. You, you get no, AdSense is a big chunk of YouTube revenue. So super thanks help. Super chats help. <sighs> but it is what it is. It, guys, I knew it was going to happen. I knew I was going to get constant. <laughs> yeah. Then it has to go through a review. Oh my God. The, the wifing promiscuous individuals stream. <laughs> that didn't just get demonetized. That got an 18 plus. So there is no way I'm ever. Made money and it's funny because it has good high view count. And guys, I do racy thumbnails. So I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's not very advertiser friendly. And I'm talking about some wild stuff. Guys, advertisers aren't going for that. And this is a business, so oh well. Go ahead and hit that like button. A little bit, bit of behind the scenes information for you guys. Today we are going further, deeper. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm... I'm going to test this stream and see if I can, if it can handle, if I can handle streaming in the sand on the beach. Let's see if the internet goes out there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Thank you to our fire firemen. Appreciate you guys. And go ahead and hit that like button. I appreciate you. And this guy with this dog is like, oh, this guy's shouting. <laughs> when I <get> <laughs> oh, he's like, what the hell is this guy's problem? Ah, but yeah. So yeah, I will put an affiliate link just to test for you guys to sign up. If, again, if... The sponsor that I'm speaking with. If I'm gonna, guys, I gotta test out their product first. I gotta see what's going on. But a little preview for you guys: if it is solid, if it is something that aligns with what we're doing over here, then what I'll do is I'll put that affiliate link in there. You guys can sign up. You can go ahead and take a look and start speaking with more traditional foreign women. I'm not quite sure yet. How solid. So just just stay tuned. I still got to do that. Guys, I've been... Business takes time. So, for example, I was grilling this company, or the rep from their company, and then I was like, okay, well, what are their other channels that you guys sponsor? And she showed me, and I was like, oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I've seen these channels. Well, one of them, at least. And she's like... Well, most of the people at my company are married. I was like, oh, okay, that's good. And I was like, what about you? You know, I'm grilling her. And she's like, oh, well, she's like, I'm engaged. And I was like, okay, now, okay, okay. This is a company that's more aligned, right, with our values. Go ahead and hit that like button, guys. I appreciate every freaking like. You have no idea how much it means. It pushes this stream out to other people and especially if it's demonetized i'm not gonna make any money off it anyway <laughs> zero dollars <laughs> man money's tight <laughs> don't guys don't be surprised if you see me doing these streams from a public library and i'm just sleeping by the library <laughs> maybe i can get some free wi <laughs> that'd be pretty funny you guys just see me streaming through aisles of books <laughs> that'd be pretty fun I'm just kind of walking around the aisles of books over and over again. <laughs> that would be hysterically funny. Oh, my God. 
you guys know I, I'm determined, man. I'm going to make this channel grow if it kills me. So, oh yeah, guys, it doesn't matter if you hit six. It, guys, it doesn't matter how many subs you have. What matters is views. You got to get the views. You could have, guys, if you really want to get into it, you could have 5,000 subs and have 15 billion views. You're going to be making some money. You're going to be okay. All right. So I got to get my views to where, where they're rock solid, not up and down, up and down, up and down. And it just takes time, guys. And it takes consistency. And that's my mission, is I have to deliver on the a best product out there. I have to become the best at showing you guys what's really going on in the real world. And that's really what this stream is all about. To all of my new subscribers, I keep getting new subscribers. What this channel is all about, it's getting back to reality. And isn't it ironic that this channel on social media is about getting back to reality. It's getting back to the real world. It's getting back to delivering on promises, on sunflowers, being over six feet tall and being delicious. Would you guys like to taste the sunflower? Let's eat it. What is wrong with this guy? Man, unsubscribe, bro. You're freaking weird, man. You're freaking weird, dude. I don't, I, 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 I don't know about this. Anyway. Oh no, just some thoughts. Which way are we going? Uh, damn it. I walked right into that. Okay, let's go around. Little thoughts. No, 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 no. You're not getting the history. Guys, they're not that good. Come on, guys. They're not that good. Trust me, guys. I put, I'll, put the, I'll put the really, really, really pretty ones in there for you, okay? So, just chill. But that's some of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. And it's going to be quite an adventure, right? So we'll see about these sponsors who want to align their product with us. I could reach out to sponsors, guys, but no, not at this point in time. There's no, there's no real point, right? If they want to work with me, we'll work with each other. We'll see where it goes. And that's why <laughs> a lot of Western companies, are, <laughs> they're going to avoid me because... <laughs> Because, as you know, my content uh, talks about going overseas and getting out. So, it's going to be pretty wild coming up. But, tying it all back together, ironically, I've done so many streams on traditional foreign women, it's not even funny. So, of course, a sponsor who is trying to get channel change the way that I speak about the pros and cons Right, And I've done these before, these streams, that really delve into the pros and cons of the traditional foreign woman. And not only that, the red flags that you will encounter going overseas. And I watched some content recently that, made, that reminded me, because I'm old, guys. I have to be reminded of things. I know my weaknesses very well. And this one stream I was watching, this, this guy... And he was going over some of the negatives of when you go overseas. And I was like, we haven't done that in a long time. So I'm going to tie that together with the pros and cons of the traditional foreign women. Because a lot of guys go overseas. A lot of guys get antsy. A lot of guys think downstairs with their downstairs parts. And they don't really vet. They don't really do the due diligence. Like when I was speaking to this sponsor yesterday, they... I was asking her all these questions and she's like, wow, she's like, uh, most channels, they don't even, they don't ask nearly as much. And I was like, it's because I said, I, I have, I owe it to my subs and I, you know, business takes time and I'm not in a rush to do, to, uh, execute on any of these. I said, I need this information. How long have you guys have been in business? Okay. We've been in business since 2000. Okay. What is your guys objective as a company? For channels like mine. Why did you reach out to my channel? You see what I'm saying? I was grilling her, guys. Because we got to make sure that we're all going in the right direction. <laughs> we got to make sure that we're going in the right direction. So anyway, long and short of it is, you know, she's giving me the fluff story. But at the same time, I need... I need more information, so I'm going to go, out, go ahead and test out the product, see how it goes and everything. No product's 100%, obviously, but 
there has to be some good upside. Otherwise, I'm like, nah. You know what I mean? Hell no. <laughs> so, traditional form, do they exist? Yes. It's a resounding yes. In fact, to the vast majority, to all my legionaries, not only do traditional foreign women exist, they are actually the majority worldwide. I know you guys think leftist liberal behavior is very, very common and it's in every... No, guys. That is not the case. In fact, even li liberal foreign women overseas are actually incredibly traditional. I know this is hard to believe, but liberal foreign women overseas are normally quite traditional. It's going to confuse the heck out of some of you. And some of you have already wifed up liberal foreign women, right? You've got into relationships with them. You've made that mistake. Now, most of the time, it doesn't pay off to be with the liberal foreign women, right? Because of the myriad of downs. Now, if you're in a traditional country, it makes it a little bit easier. But one of the things that guys, one of the biggest mistakes guys have is just even able to differentiate between a traditional foreign woman and a liberal one. And it's not that complicated, but we need to go over it so you guys are prepared. Hit that like button. I appreciate it. <laughs> guys, how many women do you see walk in their dogs hmm? in LA, always with the dogs? If you guys see, you see what I'm talking about? Single women in Los Angeles. Hit that like button. Single <laughs> walking their dogs. <laughs> always single. <laughs> oh, how do you know, bro? She's just walking up. Guys, women with dogs, cats, boxed wine. Come on. One of my neighbors, I hear her all the time trying to get attention. And she's, of course, got a dog and the dog her place and now the place has <laughs> oh my poor aws my poor poor AW. <laughs> i feel more and more sorry for them every day don't feel sorry for her bro i do i really feel oh she's walking this way guys i'm not making this up she's literally wearing <laughs> suspender overalls <laughs> there she is. she's wearing suspender overalls dude that is funny that is hilarious. That is funny. <laughs> God, I just had too much fun on these streams. But um, yeah, guys, they're always trying to get attention. And I, 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 sometimes I just like, it's so sad at this point. I, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. You know what I mean? <sighs> Parabiology, long time. Long time. Appreciate you, Parabiology. This guy's been around a while. He's been a sub for a while. Hit that like button. Appreciate you, buddy. He says, they called the fur babies in LA a substitute. <laughs> it's so true, man. <laughs> they, they say, <laughs> to all my subs out there, parabiology, they call the fur babies in LA a substitute for real, uh, uh, real, ch uh, real children while they ride the carousel. Yeah. yeah guys, it's, sad it's really pathetic you know what i mean and then they, this is what they turn into it's so it, it's like more the more i it's it's actually depressing for me to talk about and but i do it anyway for you guys because i'm so far past it and at this point it's just sad you know what i mean because there's there's really nothing they can do and i didn't think it would happen this quickly but it it's <laughs> Oh boy, it's now I'm now I'm all depressed. There's there's literally there's no solution to their problem, and I've I've studied I've 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 crunched the numbers and it's just there's really no solution. So what I've done, <laughs> what I've done is just put together an action plan for you guys, and today we're gonna get into man it is nice out today but it's just overcast. I wish it was a little sunnier for you guys. 
man, I really want to get into that windsurfing. When I got money, baby, I'm going to get, because now I'm actually in shape. Now I can do windsurfing because, dude, guys, kites, because these guys are, they're doing like aerial, there's no, there's no windsurfers out there or kite surfers, but they'll do like aerial backflips and they'll fly in the air and it's just insane. They're, yeah. Anyway, I was way out of shape before I could, there was no way I could have done it, but now I could do it. Guys, I ran a mile right before this stream. No problem. Anyway, traditional form. Let's start with the basics. Separating the traditional form woman from a liberal form. Nothing wrong with being a liberal form woman. In fact, in fact, I know this is a little, little bit out there, but if you are looking to hook up to have more fun, right? I know a lot of get guys say, just stay in the West. I don't agree with that. Because if you do go overseas and you want to have some fun, you're going to be, it's, you're, you're literally going to be bombarded with liberal foreign women. It's, 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 it's hard to, to escape them. They will literally approach you on the streets. There's no doubt in my mind. Even if you're just an average looking dude, what is with all these lizards, man? A lot of lizards out today, and it's not even hot. Strange. Hit that like button. Ah, parabiology. I went and found my Filipina in 2019. Best decision I ever made. Parabiology, I'm so happy for you, dude. I'm so and it's fun. <laughs> it's funny we we're talking about Filipinas because literally <laughs> the company that reached out to me. Yeah, you can guess. It's just funny. It's like, because I've been doing Filipina streams for, since the beginning of my freaking channel. It's been over a year, almost a year and a half, going on two years. You know what I mean? It's just funny. <laughs> Filipinas are absolutely incredible. And I started the stream off in a Filipina because, guys, I have met so many Filipinas in my life. It's not even funny. But one of the things you have to be very, very cognizant of when you go overseas, the amount of liberal foreign women. And again, if you're just a hookup guy, you just want to have fun, you can clean up overseas. It's, it's disturbing. It's absolutely overwhelming how much you will be accosted. How much, even to just average guys. And you've heard this time and time again. You will have clean up, you'll have fun. But again, you've got to be very cognizant of all the little ways that they will try to manipulate, right? Or scam. This is very apparent. What the heck is going on out here? Is this, this guy okay? Oh. He's just hanging on. I think they got paddle boards or something. Might have to go out and rescue. Oh, never mind. Lifeguard's right there. I'm tripping, man. <laughs> the lifeguard is right there. Sorry about that, guys. Stupid stream. It's back. It just had a little, little lag. A little, little lag there. I'm going to go all the way around. Should be fine now. Go ahead and hit that like button. Oh, he's surfing. They're surfing. That's why. So, the liberal form. If you guys want to be a hookup guy, hit that like button. I really appreciate every like. The likes are the most important thing that you can give. Your gratitude. I am eternally humbled and grateful for that. So, if you just want to have a good time. You want to have fun. You're a fun type of dude. You can just clean up over there. Now, the reason why it's better than doing that in the States is you can tell by the Russell Brands and the, the, uh, all the guys that are getting thrown under the bus, the Joe Rogans, etc., all these accusations. Who knows if they're true or not? But you guys could probably take a guess. When you go overseas, you're not going to be having these types of issues. It's one of the pluses. Of going over there it's much more guy centric patriarchal so that's a huge huge pro if you just want to be with liberal form you just want to hook up just want to be have a good time but but we're talking about traditional foreign women how do you tell the difference between a traditional foreign woman and a liberal one well there are many 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 clues and some of the things that are going to really really blow your mind at the same time because 
you really need to do a little bit of due diligence when it comes to this because a lot of guys get roped in by thinking with their nether regions right and the ladies who would have you believe that they're traditional foreign are very aware of this they know that you can be manipulated hit that like button i appreciate you guys so what are some of these red flags because sometimes you'll hear these horror stories of guys who say well i thought she was a good girl and then all of a sudden xyz she wanted a green card she wanted to come over she took advantage of me all these negatives and usually almost every story glosses over some of the more simple ways that they got finessed right hey guys pay attention this is just a silly little milf she don't know no better <laughs> this is a little la milf it's nothing nothing special oh tattoo on her chest oh oh my god <laughs> anyway so some of the most important ways that they that guys get finessed overseas one of the most simple ways i i'm going to be really really direct with you guys on this one if any woman overseas for those of you who do go overseas you're looking for a traditional foreign woman just to be able to separate between a liberal and a foreign if any girl approaches you for any reason i don't care what the reason obviously your guard should go up immediately it doesn't matter what the reason is guys now i'm extraordinarily experienced in this area i've had many women approach me in my life more so than some other guys and I'm very aware of the red flags. Now, the good news is the vast majority of the red flags are immediately apparent. Some of the red flags that are that we haven't gone over yet, and I've done almost, what am I, 1,300, 1,400 videos, is women who talk very quickly, who are in a rush, who are hurrying, who are moving too quickly. Who are saying things like, oh my God, you're so handsome. They start love bombing you. You're so amazing. You're, oh, 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 you're spectacular. Now, some of this can be genuine. But you have to understand, guys, that no matter where you go in life, no matter where, I don't care if you're in the West, I don't care if you're in the East, you're always a target for people approaching. You. And I'm not saying even in a bad way. What I'm getting at, is you need to be able to filter. I learned this skill many, many years ago. Instead of approaching people, I let people come to me. Because when you let people come to you, you are the black widow. You are the spider in the web. And when you guys set up your clarity calls with me, when you start to learn high level sk sales skills, when you start to expand on your business plan, when you start to learn about how to do business, about how to make money. Making money is easy. It's just keeping. It's the hard part. <laughs> Once you guys learn these things, you start to realize the benefits are in kicking back, relaxing, and letting people come to you. And not only that, setting up all your opportunities for people to come to you by strate being strategic. So when these girls approach you, now, you can go out and approach a million women if you want and do that type of game stuff and dating coach this. You can do that type of stuff. But the downside to this in these other countries, the downside to this anywhere, is that now you are at a disadvantage. You're at a massive, massive disadvantage. And what I mean by that is you need to be the one to sell. You are selling to them. They're not selling to you. Do you see what I'm saying? And these are millions and millions of dollars worth of free advice here on this channel. So go ahead and hit that like button. That crow is huge, guys. That's the biggest freaking, good lord. Freaking, that thing could fight with an eagle. It's huge. So when you guys kick back and let them come to you, and you have those high-level sales skills, 
that you learn on our clarity calls, links in the description, by the way, what happens is all of a sudden you get people approaching you, you become the opportunity. And now they have to sell to you. Now, the interesting thing about ladies overseas is a lot of them are not very well versed in selling, right? Some of them have some sk sales skills, you know, the professionals who work bars and clubs. So they'll approach you and they'll say things that they've been trained to say. They've only got a couple, couple lines. So obviously these are very, very big red flags. If you want a traditional relationship, women from bars, women from clubs overseas are not traditional guys in any way, shape or form. If she has even sniffed out a bar overseas, she is not traditional. She is used to selling stuff, things that I can't say on YouTube. Hit that like button. I appreciate your likes, guys. I see guys piling in the chat. As you guys can see, I'm much more subdued today and calm because I'm talking about traditional foreign women. It's a different mindset. It's calm. It's inviting. So a lot of the red flags that you will experience are from ladies who approach you. Now, the interesting thing about traditional foreign women is they will approach you guys. They will, but they're not going to do it at a bar. They're not going to do it at a bar. Heck no, 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 no. The bars are reserved for what they call working girls. I want you guys to write this down. Working girls. This is the biggest, biggest place that I hear guys getting finessed and then complaining and crying later on. This is the biggest place guys get finessed. Not online, it's at the bars. All right? Now, online can be treacherous too as well. It's very, it's like a minefield, all right? This is a very, again, if you want liberal, if you want fun, have at it. Online's a place to go, all right? That's a very fun place. Hit that like button, guys. Your likes are very appreciated. <laughs> Poor old people. I can't hear very well. Hit the like button, guys. I really appreciate your likes. The bars. If you want to have fun, you can have fun there. And even then, you have to be very careful. Okay? They're running scams all the time. So, huge one is if they approach you. This is not always nefarious. They're not always up to no good, but there are a lot of red flags that come when they approach you. If they're talking fast, if they're love bombing you, if they are constantly complimenting you, if their body language is left, right, left, right, twitching, nervous. Okay. Parabiology never gets serious with a bar girl. You see guys, this is nothing. Guys with experience know this stuff. Guys who've been overseas, who have experience, who have knowledge, know this stuff. We're saving you thousands of dollars, lifetimes of pain, and thousands of freaking headaches and dollars, dollars, money, rupees, dinero, pesos. We're saving you money. All right? You have to be cognizant of these things. They are not necessarily bad people. They just are looking to get their money. All right. Stay away from bars. If you want to settle down with a good girl, a traditional girl. Now there's several different other layers to this, right? But we're going to get into it today. Hit that like button. As we move, guys, this is going to be a good stream. You guys are going to get so much information. It's going to be worth the like. It's going to be worth a super chat too. For those of you who donate, I really appreciate it. Hit the link. Hit that super thanks link. Hit the super chat link. I read your super chats multiple times. Your voice will be heard. The bars are a no-go. That's a place where most wild stuff is going to happen. All right Now, there are some of these people online, but it's much harder to finesse online. It's easier for them to do it in person and to use your, 
your nether regions. <laughs> uh, that's such an old people word <laughs> to their advantage. All right. So that's a huge one. Huge, huge. This is probably where the bulk of all the pain happens to guys. They go to Thailand, they go to Koh San Road, they go to, you know, Hong Kong, and they go to uh, Long Kwai Fong. They go to these places looking for a good girl. They find a bunch of trouble. So, next is obviously online. I'm kidding, not yet. In person, girls who approach you. They approach you. They are love bombing you. They are telling you all the things you want to hear. Big red flag. Time to skedaddle. Time to walk away. Time to say no. Now, if you do approach a woman overseas, again, you're going to have to do the selling. It's not that difficult per se, but we're not going to get to that yet. We're just talking about girls who approach you because I want you guys to avoid the traps. In fact, anybody who approaches you overseas, you must be very wary. You must filter. Hit the like button, guys. I appreciate, like, appreciate those likes. I see you guys coming in. Likes mean the most. Hit the dislike button. I don't care. Either one. When they approach you, it's time to ask the hard questions. It's time to make sure that they understand that you will not be finessed, that you are in control of your faculties, that you have de-discipline, that you are not going to give in to any of that type of behavior, any wild, crazy behavior. This is, leads me into my next most important. This one is so important, it's not even funny, guys. This is one of the biggest red flags that guys overlook. I need you to write this down. So we've talked about being approached. We've talked about the bars, the clubs. Clubs are included in that, all right? Bars and clubs. Okay, you with me? Hit that like button, guys. I see you piling in that room. Get piling in the chat, hit the like button. Likes are important, likes are free. Because this information is, inc this is probably the most important information you will ever ever get when it comes to dating, to marriage overseas, to getting in a relationship. This one is so huge that we haven't even covered it yet. This is one of the most important parts to everything you are going to learn here. When women approach you overseas, and they will, guys, it's not even, it's not even a, a question of if, it's a matter of when. Hit the like button. Guys, likes are stagnant. I need you to move the like button up. Give me one or two more likes. Really appreciate it. This one's huge. If a woman approaches you overseas and she touches you, this is so insanely important, gentlemen. If a woman approaches you overseas and touches you, I know you guys are used to it in the U.S., in the West. Even on this stream, I have, I have gone off on women who approach me. And I said, don't ever come up to me. Don't ever touch me in public. Don't do it. It's going to be bad news for you. This is one of the most important ones of all time. Hit that like button, guys. Move the like button up. Press it. Parabiology says, I dated women from 20 countries. I can tell you guys that this man is telling the truth and his advice will save lots of time, money, and heartache. Also be respectful to traditional women only. Do you see what I'm talking about, guys? This isn't just the information that I pulled from other guys off the internet and just started parroting everything. Like you'll see a lot of guys do on these channels. Guys, this is from hardcore experience. This is from being with women from so many countries. I can't even tell you. Indi I've been with Indian women, Filipinas, you name it, guys. Literally every... <laughs> I, I, 
African women, women from the continent of Africa, women from Senegal, women from Nigeria, uh, women from the Philippines, women from Vietnam. I, I, I've literally dissected it. And I'm getting this information to, to you for free. So please hit the like button. I appreciate your likes. You don't even know. I see you guys piling in the chat. At least 50% likes. That's all I ask. And I was talking about women touching me the other day. I said, do not approach me on my streams. Do not approach me. Do not touch me. And I was directing this to Western women. I was directing this to Western women. Isn't that interesting? And what I was saying was, do not touch me. Do not come up to me and touch me. Because gentlemen, in very liberal places, women will come up and touch you if they're attracted to you or if they're looking to get something. But overseas, traditional foreign women will never initiate touch ever. Never, never. They're not going to initiate it. The reason for this is because in their culture, it's considered extremely, extremely bad. You are now a bad girl. There is nothing more anxiety inducing to a traditional foreign woman than knowing she's a bad girl. She's done something wrong. She's been a bad girl. She's become a bad girl. This scares them to no end. This is a, literally their nightmare, is being known as a bad girl, is having that reputation. Because what a lot of men do not understand is how important reputation is to traditional women. It is so important to them, gentlemen, to be a good girl, to get that praise, that admiration from you, to get your love and validation. This is so important to them. And it's important to Western women as well. It's just, unfortunately, Western women have lost a lot of those abilities. They will never initiate touch. They will never initiate physical touch. Do you guys understand this? You may see it as a pro. You may see it as a con. They are not going to come up to you and start touching you. A very outrageous woman will overseas. You guys can watch some of my past streams. Women approach me and try to grab me in my streams. They will try to touch me in the West. Grab my arm, grab my shoulder. Oh my God, look at your shaved head. It's so, oh my God, it's like a, it feels like a kiwi. It's so soft. This is what you get in Western, more Western ideologies. And you are never going to get this from a traditional form of never. Unless you tell her to. I mean, it's so important. It's not even funny. And guys overlook this. Man, this helicopter came out of nowhere, dude. They always come like right over the horizon. <laughs> this guy's about, he's like an attack formation or some crap. <laughs> it's the craziest thing. Just came out of nowhere, just right over. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. There's a sailboat. Look at him just chilling, man. He's having a good old time. There he is, chilling like a villain. <sighs> they will never initiate the touch. They will never break the touch bear. And this is one of the biggest ways that guys get manipulated overseas. I see it all the time. They just go, oh, yeah, she's grabbing me. Oh, my God. You know, they're just blown away by this. You must avoid. You must avoid. And you don't have to avoid. You can go for it. You can be with her. It's just she's not relationship material. At all. Zero percent. She is not conservative. This is one of the things that is going to make you very aware. Guys, this is going to eliminate 90% of your headaches overseas. 90% of your headaches will be gone just like this. Gone. Approaches and touches. No. That's a no-go. All right? Simple, simple. Guys, this stuff isn't complicated. Man, this guy is, this guy is a beast, man. He's running like 
It's running like he means business. Proud of you, dude. Keep it up. Oh, he stopped running. <laughs> so yeah, the touch barrier approaching when they approach you. What is going on here with Mr. Oh, never mind. Going to the bars, going to the clubs, going to anywhere like that. No go. There are no traditional foreign women there. This leads me to my next one. Now, this is going to eliminate a lot of your problems. Now, she can still do bad girl things. She could still have gone overseas. Maybe been with the Westerner. Maybe she's, you know, done something troubling. But let's get into one that guys very, very infrequently understand. Is if she speaks very good English. She's probably westernized. You must be very wary of this. This is kind of a little sidebar. It's a little note, side note. If she speaks very good English, chances are she has been with the Western man before, or she is curious about it, or she is setting up to be with it. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. That's why I'm kind of leaving it as a side sidebar. You guys have to be very aware of that. Hit the like button, guys. I see you guys pilot in the chat. So you got to be aware of this. And that's when all the good could... By the way, this is just notes for you mentally to take before you start grilling her. Sorry, guys. Freaking stream dropped for some reason. I got full bars, too. I'm doing okay here. That was bizarre. But yeah. This is a mental note for you guys to take. If she speaks very good English... This is just a side note. Just take a little mental note. You know, let's go back in the other direction. I kind of like the other direction back there. Just take that mental note. It's not going to disqualify her. It's just you want to take the mental note. She speaks English. She's a little bit more Westernized. You got to be very wary of this. All right. We're going to get into one that's very easy to spot. This one is ultra easy to spot. This one is going to make your life, this is going to eliminate another 5-10% easily. Because once again, guys, when you go overseas, I don't know if I've talked about this enough, but when you're in the driver's seat, you are now the target, the prize. You are the one that is the one who is going to filter. You are the one who's going to be discerning. You are the one with standards. You are the one who is going to eliminate and separate the wheat from the chaff. Hit the like button, guys. You are the one who separates the wheat from the chaff. And I know I labeled this stream more as pros and cons, but it's also standards. I think you guys can read between the lines, the pros and cons. <laughs> the pros of getting, we haven't even gotten to the traditional foreign woman. We're just talking about knowing what a traditional foreign woman is. So maybe I'll change the title of the stream anyway. But when they, here's the next one. This one's very important. Being able to separate between a traditional foreign woman and a liberal foreign woman is going to be the way that they dress, all right? The way that they dress is very important, gentlemen. The way they dress is going to tell you everything you need to know. You see? The way that they dress is going to tell you everything you need to know. This is one of the more obvious ones, but guys overlook this all the time. They start thinking with their nether regions. If a woman is dressed up like that, tight stuff, very revealing, showing off a lot of body. The mo I want you guys to do a very simple calculation. I want you to write this down. The more she shows off her body, the less likely she is to be traditional. It's inversely proportionate. I'm kind of getting chafing on my leg. What the hell is going on? I gotta change my clothes or something. The more she shows off her body, the less likely she is to be traditional. The more she shows any type of skin, 
the more likely it is she is not traditional. Okay? This is very obvious that a lot of guys overlook this. And it drives me freaking crazy. If she shows off her body, if she shows off her body, guys pay attention. If she shows off her body, geez Louise, hey Kaylee, how are you doing? I'm fine. You know, I'm just running. I'm trying to get in shape. Let's see if she, how are you doing Kaylee? She looks very tired. She was shaking out her arms earlier. I'm proud of you, Kaylee. Keep it up. I'm really proud of you, girl. <laughs> She's like a LA six and a half. Yeah, guys, you, you guys think, guys, there's hot, if you go, uh, <laughs> go back to all my streams, you're going to see hot chicks all the time. Like literally all the time. That's all you, <laughs> this is crazy. Anyway, if they show off lots of skin like that, guys, she's not traditional, okay? It's not a bad thing. It's just, if you want a traditional relationship, it's not happening, dude. The more they show skin, the more they show off their body. So, skirts, high skirts, tight, mini skirts, mini skirt, okay, revealing clothing. Guys, I don't care if it's hot out. Like all the little, <laughs> like, <laughs> if it's hot out, then it's hot out. It doesn't matter. They'll still wear a long dress. If it's raining and they're wearing skimpy stuff, guys, come on. Do you need to be a rocket science to scientist to figure this out? They are not going to be traditional, okay? This isn't very difficult information. Hit the like button, guys. The way that she dresses is a very big indicator of where she, her mindset lies. This goes for clothes. This goes for accessories. Accessories. This is one guys overlook all the time. Gentlemen, you, when I tell you, when I talk to you about having a PhD in American women, I have two master's degrees in traditional foreign women. And I'm working on my PhD. All right. Two ma one of my masters is for overseas traditional foreign women. My other master is in masters is in liberal foreign women. I understand them so well. I needed two freaking masters. Okay. <laughs> if their accessories tell you something, then you need to address it. Their accessories. What the F? That was weird. Am I hearing things or is somebody following me? What the hell? Oh, that girl was talking. No. Oh, it's up there. I'm tripping, guys. I'm hearing all sorts of no. <laughs> Her accessories. What type of accessories, you ask? Guys, overlook this. Gaudy jewelry. Gentlemen, traditional foreign women do not wear gaudy jewelry. They don't wear big hoop earrings. They don't wear big... Ch By the way, that's a massive red flag no matter where you go if you are looking for traditional women. These are universal. If they're wearing jewelry, tons of jewelry, gaudy jewelry. This is a no bueno. All right? This is a no freaking bueno. You got to watch out for these things. If they're wearing skimpy stuff, lots of jewelry. Okay? Jeez, Louise. She's staying in shape. Proud of you, girl. Keep it up. She's tired, too. You see how to fit these girls have to be in LA, guys? They have to be in tip top shape, or they get upgraded pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Gaudy jewelry, big necklaces, big bracelets, big, uh, you know, not only earrings, but any type of facial jewelry, rings. Anything to that effect is not going to be found on traditional foreign women. It is not going to be found on traditional foreign women. You have to be very aware of these things, guys. 
when you are in the big cities, in these big major metropolitan foreign cities, you are going to experience a lot of these kind of chameleons. And they're not even chameleons. It's just guys fall for this stuff very easily. If you have even 2% of this knowledge over there, you're going to be good. You're going to avoid 99% of every red flag. Uzbekistan in the house. Good to have Uzbekistan if that's true. Over here we are, I'm in Southern California, sir. Son, probably my son. <laughs> Having a good old time. Watching Kaylee's and Kayleafs get into all sorts of trouble. And by the way, if you guys have questions, I'm not going to answer all of them. Maybe I will. If you put out a super chat, then I will answer. That won't be a problem. So just keep that in mind. Ah, hit that like button. Hit the freaking like button. So, accessories, jewelry, clothes, lack thereof of clothes. All these things can tell you where their mindset is at and whether they are liberal or conservative overseas. Because gentlemen, what a lot of guys don't know is that their parents would never let them do that type of stuff ever Not in a billion years. They would never let them go outside and dress scantily clad. They would not allow them to do it. And the reason for this is because they're very protective of their daughters. So when you go to these major metropolitan cities, Bangkok, Manila, Shanghai, Beijing, Hong Kong, it's very easy for guys to get confused because these ladies are just throwing themselves at you. You got to be very, very aware. <laughs> They're very, you have to be very aware. All right. So it's a trip. You know what? Maybe, maybe you know what I'm going to do? Hit the like button, guys. Maybe what I'll what I'll do is uh, I wonder if I can get these uh streams translated into other su subtitles since I'm getting more and more people overseas. So I guess we'll see, but we'll see. So then you get to these big cities, right? You're having to navigate traditional foreign women and liberal foreign women. Maybe they did things in their past. Those will be questions for later on down the line. I think we might even just do it in another stream because there's so much information you need to get. It's not even funny in order to get to a traditional relationship, guys. You are the one screening. This is the biggest, biggest way that you can stay on top of this whole, whole issue. Being able to, tr to differentiate between who's liberal and who's foreign. You are not trying to get a relationship from them, gentlemen, at all. They are trying to get a relationship from you. This is the mindset that you need. This is the mindset that you need. And this guy's buff, man. He's getting in shape. Good for you, dude. Keep it up. This is the mindset you need before you even get to these countries. And a lot of guys don't have this mindset. Oh, I want to find a wife. And they're real desperate. Gentlemen, it doesn't matter if you're short, fat, bald, tall, short, fat, bald. <laughs> it's irrelevant. It really doesn't matter. What matters is you have the mindset of you are the one that people are trying to get the relationship from. She's trying to get a relationship from you. And already right there. You're going to eliminate even more. Hit the like button, guys. I see you guys filing in, not hitting the freaking like button. I need likes in order to continue this content. Hit the like button. Like. Thumbs up. See the thumbs up? Hit the thumbs up button. Here's what you do. You take your arthritic finger, your crippled finger, 
and you go like this, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. <laughs> it's <isn't> complicated, dude. <laughs> Good Lord. <sighs> now, a lot of these red flags, a lot of these issues, a lot of these headaches can be very easily avoided when you go to the smaller cities, when you go to the provinces, when you go to the countryside. Hey, guys, pay attention. There's Kaylee's everywhere. When you go to the countryside, hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. It's right over there, probably on the left-hand side. It's where YouTube keeps it. Hit the like button. So, yeah. You start going out to the countryside, you're not going to see a lot of this wild, thotting behavior. Now, you're going to hear from some guys that, yes, some of these women out in the countryside are still liberal. You're going to notice it's a very different mindset, gentlemen. Maybe they've gone into the big city and done some things. Those are going to be questions for later on the, down the line for you to filter through. The big cities are where you're going to meet the majority of liberal foreign women. All right. So I think we've almost completely filtered through probably 90, 95% of all liberal foreign women. There's one last one that I want to cover though. This is a big one that I forgot about that one guy reminded me of. This is a massive one, guys. I need you to write this down. This is a very, 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 very big one. Write it down. Make sure you have your notes out. Because we've gone over how they dress. We've gone over the accessories that they wear. We haven't even gotten to. Well, you know what? Let's add that one. Let's add that one as a little addendum. This one is very, very obvious. This one is very, very obvious. It's not complicated, guys. And by the way, when you approach, when women approach you and they talk to you about all these things, you don't need to be mean about it. You can just be very cordial because, guys, all you're doing is filtering. All you're doing is screening out all of the bad girls. And I have tons of experience with bad girls. <laughs> that like button, guys. I'm beatboxing. Hit the like button. Let's see if I can lose a bunch of uh, guys in the chat. Hit the like button. Ah. See how calm I am on this stream? Just relaxed. Traditional form women are awesome, man. They just, they, they put a blow. Oh, it's just so soothing. We really appreciate you, little. To all my traditional form women who do watch, there are a few of you. We really appreciate you. You know we love you. We really do. You're very, very sweet. We really appreciate all your... All... <laughs> There's so many of them, guys. It's not even fun. But here's one that we have not gone over. This is to earlier. There's two more to go. I think of two more. And then we'll get into the... Uh, we'll get into the, uh, to the fun parts. Hey, guys. I need a shower. This is how we take a shower <laughs> in Los Angeles. <laughs> That's how we take a shower. <laughs> but we can clean our feet on that thing. So this one's a big one. This one is very, very obvious. This guy is, this guy's, this is going to eliminate 95, 96% of all liberal foreign women. For those of you who don't want to just hook up, who wants a traditional relationship, this one's going to eliminate, I'm sorry to the liberal foreign women that have these, but if she has tattoos, guys, if she has tattoos, now, a lot of you guys are liberal, or maybe you just don't know these, or maybe you need a refresh, refresher, and you're more conservative guys, right? If she has tattoos, I don't care if it's a little tattoo, don't care if it's a big tattoo, don't care if it's medium sized, don't care if it's hidden, I don't care if she got it 15 years ago, which by the way, that's another red flag. <laughs> maybe we should add that one too as well. But if she has any type of tattoos, guys, anywhere 
I don't care where they are. I don't care from what decade they were from. I do not care. This is a massive no-no for a traditional foreign woman. Traditional foreign women do not get tattoos. They don't. They do not have tattoos. They do not want tattoos. And now there's nothing wrong with tattoos. I've got friends who got tattoos. I've got family members that got tattoos. There's nothing wrong with it. Not at all. But if you're talking about traditional foreign women, they will never get tattoos. Never. They're not curious about tattoos. They have zero interest in tattoos. <sighs> Jeez Louise. <sighs> I still got to hit the gym today, too. I'm so tired. It's just my legs, guys. They're a little crippled. Mainly because I've been running, sprinting. Oh, my Lord. Ah, this is a big frog right there. What the heck is that frog? What are you up to, frog? Look at that frog, dude. He's huge. Huge frog statue. I didn't notice that. Just notice that. Ah. 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 I ran before the stream, guys. What am I out of my mind? Why did I run before the stream? Now my legs are crippled. <laughs> I didn't really think that through. Tattoos, no. We're gonna, you know what? I'll, I'm gonna add two more. I'm gonna add two more. No tattoos. Big red flag. If they have red tattoos, that's a red flag. It's a very, 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 very non-traditional thing to do. No, guys, not even Thailand. <laughs> All right. Next on the agenda. If they're old. If they're older guys, if they're in their 30s, late 20s, and they still haven't gotten married, that's a big red flag. Mid-20s, mm, maybe. Late 20s, 30s, 40s. These are, unfortunately, ladies that probably live a more liberal lifestyle. They're usually not looking to settle down. They're looking to have fun. Maybe they just waited too long. Right? They got, for whatever reason, they're just not very high on the scale of desirableness. And it's unfortunate because some of them are really nice and really sweet. But for whatever reason, this is a big red flag, guys. Late 20s, 30, up, definitely all 30s and 40s for sure. This is, is probably a liberal woman. You'll meet a couple conservative ones, especially if she doesn't have kids. That should be a big red flag to you, gentlemen. You can still have great relationships with them. They could be very traditional. Who knows? Maybe they just got passed over by a lot of guys, or maybe they were too picky. But these are red flags. And she's probably a liberal woman. All right? Now, last one. For now. <laughs> these are very obvious, obvious, obvious. This last one is one the guys look over way too often. They let this slide way too often. If she has children, if she is a single mom, she is not a traditional foreign woman, guys. She is not in any way, shape, or form. Sir, if you have questions, you put it in a super chat. My job is to get likes on this channel and for you guys to put your questions in the super chat. Okay? You put the questions in the super chat, sir. You don't want to give likes. You guys got to give likes. You have to help. Otherwise, this stream does not go anywhere and you guys don't get that information. That's what it costs. Everything costs something. Nothing in this life is free, guys. I'm going to do a side... If she's chunky, if she's overweight, if she has any type of saddlebags like this, if she is starting to get pudgy, this is a side note, guys, and we haven't even talked about the bodies. She is not traditional. What is this plane doing right over my head, dude? Jeez, Louise, you are annoying me. I'm getting on my nerves now. Hit the like button, guys.
hit the freaking like button. If she lets her body go in any way, shape, or form, she's not traditional, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm adding this to the single mom department. If she's a single mother. She's not traditional, guys. She's not traditional conservative. If she lets her body go, if she lacks discipline, this is not a traditional conservative woman. Her father probably wasn't around. Okay. Now you're going to meet a lot of these in the Philippines. Got to watch out. There's a lot of single moms out there. And it's not that they're, there's anything wrong with them. It's they're not traditional conservative because they would not have children out of wedlock. Do you understand? Traditional conservative women are very strategic. They are very strategic. They don't just do things. They're not impulsive. This is more of the behavioral traits, but we'll get into those later on. Again, do not think that any single mom, any woman who lets her body go, starts to get chunky. She is not fit. These women are not traditional conservative. They are not. They can say it till they're... See, what a lot of you guys do is you listen to what they say and not what they're doing. Okay? Be very, very wary. So this is going to eliminate... Mm, 96... What are the police doing over here? There's a lot of police today. What are they up to? Somebody might be in trouble on the beach, man. This is going to eliminate 96... 97, maybe 98% of all the liberal foreign women. Okay. Some of the other ones that you're going to have to dig on are obviously like high body counts, any type of you know, wild behavior, drinking. We'll get into those more later on, guys. But for now, I just wanted to get you the basics. The basics of discerning between a traditional foreign women and liberal. Parabiology. Got to be aware that in the Philippines, province girls will come to the cities to work. Yes. My Filipina was from the far outskirts of Manila, still city, but also considered province. Exactly. Exactly, guys. They will come from the province. They will come from these small... A province, guys, in the Philippines is like... A, uh, it, it's like a, more of a town. Does that make sense? And more rural. Right? They will come into the city to do work, yes. He's 100% on the money. So just be aware, guys. Traditional foreign women... It's not complicated once you guys get the rhythm. For you, for a lot of my guys, you guys aren't experienced in this stuff. You have no idea what to expect. You have no idea. Guys, you take this literally around the world, you're going to be. You're going to eliminate 99, 98, 97, 98% of all scammers. Right? Then when you get really experienced, it, it's almost, guys, you're going to have a hard time pulling the wool. Because see, what, what a lot of guys don't realize once you filter through all the liberal foreign women and you just get to the conservative, guys, they, they, scammers do not spend a lot of time trying to scam. You see what I'm saying? Unless you're falling for it. If they see that you're very, very discerning and you start grilling them, guys, they're going to give up. And the reason for this is they want the smoke. They can smell that you're experienced. For example, if you know a couple words when you go to thailand when you start talking in Tha when you start speaking a little bit of thai right when you start saying krechiao and all <laughs> you start making jokes and start doing guys they're then they start changing their behavior they're oh this guy knows thai what else does he know when you go to china and you say ni hao and they go oh okay he knows now and then you start saying ego nairen Ega, you know, they, they look, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. When you say guachir, they're like, oh crap, this guy knows Mandarin. Right? They start getting like, oh, okay, wait a minute. I can't really pull a fast one. I got to be very, I got to mind my P's and Q's just in case they were even thinking about it. Right? 
pow boo. They're like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> He's listening. He understands what's going on. Cut. Whoa, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know that this is what the guy has like a diesel six pack. What the hell is, the hell is going on with that? When you start quizzing them, when you start filtering, when you start screening, people change their behavior. Even traditional, they're like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. This guy is serious. He means business. He is not here to play around. See, when you learn just a little bit of the language, just a couple words, they get shot. They're, oof. oh, this guy is serious. He means business. He is not here to play around. Should we go back to the water? I don't want to go to the water. Hmm. A lot of, I don't know. Let's see. This is going to start to filter out all of the liberal behavior, all the liberal people, all the scammers, all the weirdos. There's not that many guys, to be honest with you. It's just they, they're looking to make a quick buck. You just need to be aware. And by the way, you're going to find these in big countries all the time. You're going to find these in America. Guys, there's plenty of scammers out there. It's always going to be scammers. You will never stop scammers, no matter where. In fact, I would say that there's more scammers in the West. <laughs> you know? You go up to a Filipina and you say, Bulaga, Bulaga. She goes, what the heck? She starts just laughing. Anongos de mo. You start say, you start speaking their language, guys, and they're floored. You start understanding phrases. You start listening. It's over. 99, 98% of all scammers. Traditional foreign women. And by the way, traditional foreign women perk up their ears. They realize that you're the real deal. They realize they have to bring their, not only their A game that they were going to bring, but now they're really interested in you. They really want to close the deal. The cons. Let's go over the cons first. All right. We've separated between liberal, the liberal form of women. We filtered them out, right? They're nice people. They're fun. They can, you can have a good time with them, guys. They're not, they just, you know, if you want to have fun, you want to hook up. Liberal form women, you will, you'll clean up, man. But now we're getting to the traditional form. The women who dress nicely. The women who are sweet and innocent and gentle. You know what? I'm going to add in a couple more just so you can filter. These are just some bonus ones. Is if you ask them about their past. I'm just going to add in some simple bonus ones. We won't get in too de deep on these guys because I want to move forward with traditional form. But you ask about their past. You ask them, have you ever had a boyfriend before? Oh, boy. No, I have never had a boyfriend. Now, you start digging deeper. Okay, you never had a boyfriend, but how many times have you kissed a guy? I now, a lot of cultures see boyfriend and kissing as the same thing. A lot of cultures see boyfriend and any type of physical touch, same thing. The deeper you dig, gentlemen, the more you are going to get to the traditional form because they are going to have no problem bragging about how good they are. I have never kissed a man before in my entire life. Never. And then you're going to, we're going to get to their friends. We're going to get to all that stuff. We're going to get to the ways that you could filter out probably 99.9999% of all liberal women. We'll get there, guys. You're going to get high levels of skill on this channel. You are going to have such high levels of skills, you're going to be able to confidently do this pretty much anywhere and do, do what you need to do. So, asking about her past. Have you been married before? How many times have you been married? How many boyfriends have you had? How many times have you been kissed? Simple stuff. They're going to tell you guys they are not going to they are not going to hold back. 
One of the things you're going to notice about traditional foreign women, guys, they are politely direct. That's one of my subscribers. One of my subscribers, shout out to you. He said politely direct. That was the most, he, he was 100% on the money. They're very, guys, they're not going to filter. They're not going to tell you what you want to hear. They are going to tell you all of their shortcomings. Now, I know we're getting more into personality and all this other stuff, but I want to get these out there before you guys have any type of trouble. Traditional form women will not, will not go home with you on any dates. This is a massive one. And by the way, guys, I've got so many of these, it's not even funny. But I just want to get the big ones. Traditional foreign women don't go on dates. You heard that right here. Traditional foreign women don't go on dates at all. They don't date. They're read. They're dorky. They're kind of nerdy. They're sweet, gentle. All the pros I've talked about so many times on this channel. Where am I going? I'm kind of wandering. I'm going to get my, get my act together here. I'm kind of wandering like a weirdo. Hit that like button, guys. Likes have been stagnant. Traditional foreign women are going to be very direct with you. They're going to tell you exactly what's going on. <laughs> My pillow. Okay, never mind. I already read that. So, we've filtered through the liberal ones. For the most part, we haven't gotten to all the crazy stuff. But those little side pieces I'll expand upon later on, guys. And it'll make a lot of sense. But the pros of traditional form, when we've gone over ad infinitum, we'll do a quick recap. Traditional form women, pure, disciplined, in shape, great mothers, great wives, great house. They, they keep everything in order in the house. It's unbelievable. And not only that, they have high levels of skill. They can help you with their business. They're very good. They're very, they're so supportive, so nurturing, gentle, unbelievably sweet. And they're very giving and they just, they have a big heart. And they'll always, it, it, it's, the loyalty is unreal. I never, I know we don't go over, the, over this one enough, often enough, but the loyalty is, un, un, it's unprecedented. All you need to do is be a good guy. And you'll be just fine. You know? Be a good guy. Have a good attitude. Guys, they're going to be with you through thick and thin. It's pretty inc impre incredible. You really only need to provide, protect, and lead. Lead, provide, and protect, as I always say. And they will follow, support, and save. Follow, support, and save. You lead, provide, protect. She follows, supports, and saves. She saves you money. I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Traditional foreign women will save you money. They'll save their virginity, all that stuff. Anyway, I've gone over this so many times. You guys can check this out on my traditional foreign series. My foreign series, my go foreign series. I know I went over the pro pr pros really quickly, but the pros are... Uh, you can do a whole checklist of pros... And we'll get into more of those later on. I want to get into the cons today. And surprisingly, there's not as many as you guys would think. Traditional foreign woman cons. Number one. This is a big one for a lot of Western guys. Western guys are used to very wild behavior. Unfiltered. Um, kind of uh, aggressiveness. They're used to having girls just uh, be a little bit more, um, let's just say, rambunctious. Traditional foreign women are very, very predictable. They're very boring. I know this is very hard for a lot of Western guys to understand because Western guys will say, uh, well, certain dating coaches will say really dumb things like this. Oh, they're all the same worldwide, blah, 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 female nature, blah, blah, blah. You got, you, I, I swear, you, 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 you're the most disingenuous. If I could get all you dating coaches and game guys in a room, 
You guys have no idea what you're, you're literally the most clueless people I've, you're as clueless as all the people that you roast. You know what I mean? You really are, dude. You guys get on my freaking nerves, man. Sorry. Getting a little phlegmy there. <laughs> Did I spit on myself? I don't know how many streams. I might do two streams today. I might do three streams today. I don't know what I'm going to do today. We'll see. But these dating coaches have no idea what they're talking about, and I will tie this all back together. These guys are talking about traditional foreign women being the same. Traditional foreign women are very different, and their cons are different. Their cons are different. Do you understand? Traditional foreign women have different cons. Different cons. All right? Different cons. What are these cons? They're very predictable. We'll start with that one. Very boring. Very routine. This is something so many Western men are not used to. They're not used to a woman who's so predictable and so routine. She wakes up at six in the morning. She starts cleaning the, the house, which she's probably already cleaned 800 times before, but she's so on point and she has a, such a high standard for perfection that she's cleaning the friggin' house. She's on point. She makes you breakfast before you even wake up. Your breakfast is already made. You've got your eggs. You've got your waffles. She's, she's not very good at making waffles because it's <laughs> she's used to making rice for breakfast. <laughs> but she's made this for you before you even wake up. That's what's going to happen. Questions go in the super chat. Questions go in the super chats. You send a super chat, son. And then you hit the like button. Where am I going? Wrong way. Let's go this way. Traditional foreign women are very predictable. They're predictable. Oh, there's a little wing. What are you up to? Oh, she's with her little friends. They're going to go for a run. How cute. They're very predictable. They're easily, easily some of the most predictable women you'll ever meet. They're very routine. They're very routine. Hit the like button, guys. They have a routine. They wake up early. Before you, they start cleaning. After that, they go and they make your food. After that, they go. They get the children ready for school. They say, have a good day at work, honey. My sweet lion. And then they exercise after that. Then after that, they have a little, maybe they start filing some of your documents. After that, they take a quick break, make a lunch. Then after that, they exercise again. Then after that, they clean a little bit more. Maybe you have a little side job for them. They're very routine. They don't break from routine, guys. They're home. This is another possible negative. And by the way, these might not be negatives to you. These may be positives. But some guys see them as negative. She is a homebody. She stays at home. She is not a partier. She is not an entertainer. She is not out of control. She is calm and quiet. She's not overly emotional. She's reserved. This, some people see these as cons. Some people see these as cons. And I can see how they'd be cons to a lot of Western girls. She's quiet. She's docile. She is just a, a sweet little nugget. She's not... She, guys, she doesn't go off by herself and go walking on the beach. She doesn't do this. She likes being around people. She likes having family around. Her 
her family is very important to her. So important that a lot of times she, they will try to uh, not hijack her, but they, <laughs> they'll be, they will push, they'll push her to do things. Not necessarily do, they can be a little bit influential over her, right? Be a little manipulative. She's, she's very, very polite. A lot of guys are not used to this. They're used to women telling them their opinion every five seconds about how they, what they think and how they feel. This girl, she's always cheery. She doesn't have a bad day. She rarely ever gets sad. This is a, hard for a lot of Western men to process. It, it's, all, it's such a good thing in some ways that it's almost a negative because they're like, what, what is wrong with this girl? She, she's so, she's, she's just, I don't know, she's cheery. She's bouncing around. She's happy. Hit that like button, guys. For those of you guys asking questions in the chat, you can put in a super chat or you can press the like button. Okay. I need a better crop of troll, man. I really do. And, and by the way, it's not even that the trolls are just trying to be, you know. <laughs> I get mild trolls because they know I'm probably going to shut them down. Anyway. <laughs> this is funny. Very routine. Very predictable. She is not going to ever initiate any type of touch normally. She is not going to ever be aggressive. Some guys see this as a negative. They get confused by this. They don't know how to take it. She's very docile. She's very reserved. She doesn't brag. She's very humble. Almost to the point where you're like, wow. She knows three languages fluently. She's got a degree. And, she's, and she doesn't, you know... She's very honest about her looks. She's very honest about her negative points to a fault. A lot of guys don't know how to deal with this. It's very confusing to some gentlemen. They kind of scratch their head on this one. It's confusing to them. A lot of guys don't know how to take it. Happy, happy, happy. So that can be seen as a major con, right? A major con. Go ahead and hit the like button, guys. I don't see the likes moving. Move those freaking likes, guys. Another con to traditional foreign women. They don't have a lot of experience when it comes to nighttime activity. Don't have a lot of experience. Now, this could be seen as a negative or a positive. Again, some of these things could be seen as a positive. I get it. But a lot of time, nighttime activities are not necessarily, they don't understand, they, they don't have a lot of experience. They're, they're enthusiastic usually, but just not experienced. Right? So this can be seen as a negative. And they can be incredibly shy incredibly shy, very nervous, enthusiastic, but nervous, terrified. Okay, hit that like button, guys. Push the like button. It helps this stream like you guys would not believe. Traditional foreign women are incredibly jealous, incredibly jealous and some traditional foreign women more so others especially filipinas guys filipinas are so jealous oh my i dated this filipina and she knew that a lot of girls like me and she would be she would just be like I, I she could not stand all the other women that were after me it drove her insane It was just funny because she, she would always make faces. <laughs> she would just go crazy when other women wanted me. It drove her up the wall. 
incredibly jealous. Traditional foreign women in general, incredibly jealous. Because one of the things that you guys may find a con, but I see it as a pro, is she focuses all her attention on the family and you. She focuses all her attention because she knows she can take care of herself. See, this is the problem in the West is a lot of women just don't understand how to take care of themselves. Ouch. I just realized that after 1,300 videos, women in the West don't know how to take care of themselves. Ipso facto, they don't know how to take care of their families. And this is a big, big problem in the West. They don't know how to do it. But traditional foreign women prioritize the family, prioritize the husband, prioritize the children, taking care of the family. She is the backbone of everything and she knows it. She is so confident in her abilities. Hit the like button, guys. Traditional foreign women, cons. They don't like to go out much. Again, they're more homebodies. They're not very adventurous. Okay? If you want them to be a part of your activities, especially if they're more guys' activities, she's not going to want to be a part of them. I know this could be seen as a con, but to me, it's actually a pro. But again, I'm coming from the viewpoint of a Western man, helping you guys out. She's not going to want to do any guy acting. She's not going to go. Guys, if you want to go watch an MMA event, she's not going to want to go with you. She'll buy you tits. She's not going to want to go with you. Man. She doesn't want to do that type of stuff. She doesn't want to go hunting. She doesn't want to be one of the guys. She doesn't want to do any of that stuff. She wants to read. Here's your typical traditional formula. She wants to read a good book and peace and quiet. And a lot of Western guys are just confused by this. You're so used to noise and nagging that you're just not used to... See, here's the thing about traditional foreign women. They're not going to nag you. They're just going to do what needs to be done. It's a very different mindset. You better, you better shut that RBF off, lady. Because you are messing with the wrong one. Let me tell you. I don't know why I'm... <laughs> Where are you at? That lady was giving me RBF with your man around. I don't care what I don't care if you don't like what I'm talking about. To all okay, I better why am I getting this? I swear, man. He's free. She's just like you really want to try that? You're gonna it's not gonna be good. You need to back your let me tell you something, man. I, I don't care. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. <laughs> no, no. You can you can wipe that off your face and move on. Let's just say, okay? You can wipe that off your face and move on. Because I'm not dealing with none of that. I don't care if your man's around or not. Trying to get me out of my headspace for this stream. <laughs> Jeez Louise. TFW cons. She's not going to be doing any type of manual labor. And this goes for pretty much women around the world. They're just not going to do that type of stuff. Yeah, right. I'm kidding. <laughs> she will do. Every, guys, pretty much anything in the house is going to be organized and tidied. She's just not very good at the outdoors type of stuff, but that goes with pretty much any any of them that you live with. They're just not good at the outdoor stuff. Once in a while, you'll meet a AW who's good at that type of stuff. Very, it's, guys, it's very, very rare. Very, very freaking rare. She's more of a homebody. This is a big one. The shyness I went over. As you can see, guys, it's not a, there's not a ton of cons that come to the traditional formula. One of the ones that could be challenging is her lack of English skills. A lot of traditional foreign just don't have the best English skills, right? They might have an accent. But here's the thing about traditional foreign women, a lot of them are educated. It's just she may only speak her traditional 
native language. This could be a ma major con, could be a barrier to entry. But for myself, I'm learning Spanish, Mandarin, probably eventually Korean. You see what I mean? So it could be a barrier for you because she speaks in her native tongue. Now, that doesn't mean she's not going to at least attempt to converse with you in broken English, but she's still going to make a connection. I hate to turn it into a positive, but she's still going to really give it her best. Especially if she's just knows her native language. I dated a traditional foreign woman even before I knew what was going on. Because she really wanted to have kids with me. And she mainly spoke Spanish, but she really gave it a shot in English. And somehow we made it work. It was crazy. I was like... Phew. So yeah, the language barrier is a big one. In fact, that could be the biggest one for a traditional foreign woman. And her shyness about speaking English and her embarrassment about not being good at English, the more you know her traditional language, the more you're going to connect. And she's going to be floored that you even would even attempt to learn her language. Well, guys, when I speak even a little bit of Mandarin, when I speak a little bit of Cantonese, their hair just, they, they're floored. They don't even know what to say. How do you know these words? Always. How do you know these words? How do you, how do you know? They're, they're shocked. They don't even know what to say. Because to them, it shows that you want to know who they are. So a lot of traditional foreign women stick to their native tongue and maybe learn a little bit of English. Just a smidge. So they can marry a Western man. <laughs> traditional foreign women are very 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 religious this is one that i did not go over about the liberal foreign women liberal foreign women are not as religious guys but traditional foreign women are very religious if you have a filipina she may take a time to pray two three four times a day because she's probably a catholic or christian they're very religious this could be seen as a negative to some western men because she's going to be very, what's it called? Uh, how do I explain? She's just going to be a lot more regimented. And some guys are just not used to this. Some guys find this a little bit confusing, a little, not off-putting, but they're just like, kind of, huh? How do I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with all the religiousness. Lots of religious icon or a, uh, spiritual things but this is very important to her religion is a very important attribute to a traditional foreign woman's life it keeps her very grounded because women are very spiritual guys they just are your traditional foreign woman is very religious she believes in that spirit and it's important to her not necessarily as mo much important. It's not as important to the men as it is to the women, in my opinion. And this could be seen as a con. Again, a lot of these can be seen as pros. That's why it's so hard to nitpick about traditional foreign women, guys. It's very hard to nitpick about them. And <laughs> as you guys can tell, for me, I'm very particular. And I'm very well-versed and very discerning. So it's very difficult to give them a hard time. You know, traditional foreign women, <laughs> look at these little chubby linglings. They're trying. I'm proud of you girls. Keep going. Keep running. They're a little chubby, dude. They're a little chunky, guys. I know you guys think I'm crazy. Some of you Western guys think I'm crazy and say, that's chubby. Yeah, guys, that's chubby. I'm, they're trying, dude. It's, uh, they're all right. Nothing spectacular. <laughs> they're trying. They're doing their best. That's a little chunky. A little out of shape. Yeah, I guess. Most Linglings are much more fit than that. And as you, if you go back to my previous streams, you'll see plenty and plenty, plenty beautiful women. Constantly. But more power to you, little Linglings. Keep going. Keep running. I could catch them easily, man. 
My old ass can catch up. Come on, these girls are out of shape. <laughs> I can keep guys. I can keep up with them and pace them. Not just because I have longer legs, but your boy's in shape. For 44, I'm in shape, man. And I'm 220 pounds and I can still freaking lap them. Very competitive. <laughs> so, <laughs> another thing about your liberal foreign woman is she's going to be upset. Guys, pay attention. Oh, oh, oh. Poor Rosalind. I, man, I feel bad for Rosalind Pork Belly. Your, your, <laughs> your traditional foreign woman. You guys may see this as a con. I know you think I'm crazy. Some guys see this as a con, so I have to go over it. Some. Why did the planes, man, where are you at, son? I'm going to chase you in my helicopter. Where the hell did you go? He's behind the clock. There he is. You SOB. You SOB. Where are you at? There he is. Where is he at? There he is. Right there. You SOB. I'm going to catch you with my freaking helicopter, I swear. I don't right overhead. Classic. It's my own fault. Another thing that you guys are going to notice about your TFW that may be a little bit of a little bit of a con is that she's obsessed with staying in shape. She's obsessed with her weight. She stays fit. She does not eat too much. Some of you guys are used to women that just gorge themselves. Again, this is from a Western guy's standpoint. You're going to be shocked at how much traditional foreign women maintain their weight. They are very disciplined. They refuse to gain weight. Here's another big con to some of you. Is your traditional foreign woman wants leadership. You cannot be laissez-faire. Oh, just do whatever you want. Hey, wear whatever you want. Do whatever you want. If you do that as a Western man, you are going to put off your traditional foreign woman. Guys, I'm craving kombucha right now. I don't know why. It's so random. Because I've been walking for two hours in the heat doing the stream. Hit the like button. She is going to be very... What was I talking about again? <laughs> I don't even remember. The heck was I talking about? Uh, disciplined. Shape. Oh, she wants leadership. She wants direction. She wants you to give her that direction. Now, guys, if you are very meek and you are very wishy-washy and you just say, hey, whatever goes, goes, man. Hey, let's let's just uh, peace, love, and uh, yeah, yeah, you're in charge. And 50, 50. Guys, you are not going to be with the traditional foreign woman for long. You give those wishy-washy answers. Hey, man, we'll see. Hey, whatever happens, man, blah, blah, blah. She is going to look at you like you're insane. Traditional foreign, this guy's looking at me very in intently. <laughs> He's straight out of here. Yes, fat boy. Jeez, the wheeze. Lose some weight, son. You cannot be wishy-washy. You can not have a wait, let's a wait and see attitude. Hey, we'll see where things go. Hey, you're the boss. Your mother's in charge. That guys, she's gonna look at you like you're an alien. She's gonna look at you like you have just walked off of freaking Mars. She's gonna look at you like you have lost your line. I'm not sure. <laughs> you got to ask them. Huh? You have to ask them. Ask <laughs> this lady, oh, this, this old lady, I was polite to her. She's old. She's older and nice. She's nice. She, play, she was asking me why the flags are at half mast. The most random question. <laughs> old ladies are nice, guys. If, if they're respectful, I'll, I'll give them the time of day. She was really, really old. She was just, I don't know. I said, go ask them yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> She's patriotic. If you are not in control of your own faculties, if you don't have discipline, guys, 
don't even waste your time with the traditional foreign woman. Don't even waste. Don't come in with the very left mindset of just wishy-washy. Very weak. That's the way she's going to look at you. As a playboy, they call it, or a guy who plays around. If you are not on top of these situations, if you say, hey, just wear whatever you want, do whatever you want, she's going to think you don't care about her. See, this is why a lot of guys just don't understand how traditional women think. If you say, do whatever you want, honey, do whatever you want, sweetheart, she's going to think that you don't care about her. And she's right. She thinks that you don't care about what happens to her. Just go ahead and wear whatever you want and then get in all sorts of trouble. She needs your direction and leadership. Even if it seems obvious to you, she needs it because she does not know. She doesn't understand long-term ramifications. This is what a lot of Western guys do not get. You have to give her some direction. It doesn't need to be complicated. Just simple. Keep things simple. This is another thing that really confuses guys. I want to tie this together, is simplicity. She's simple. She does not need gaudy things. She doesn't need you to wait on her hand and foot. Some guys see this as a con because they're used to pampering and spoiling and just freaking weirdos. You have to give your traditional foreign woman direction. You have to give her direction. You must lay out what you have standards wise and she will comply that is how it goes all right no wishy-washiness no laissez-faire this is how it's going to be and that's it you don't need to be mean about it you don't need to be a jerk keep it simple she's going to ask you how you like your food do you like it spicy do you like it sweet? Do you like it sour? Do you like it bitter? Do you need help with your documents, etc., etc.? What you guys have never experienced is a woman who is not high maintenance. She is not high maintenance. Some guys see this as a con. I know it's crazy. To me, you, you're out. You're out of your mind. You've lost it. But she's low maintenance. Another con is that she sees your gifts as too much. She is going to not want you to spend lots of money on her. She's not going to want you to spend lots of time. I know this is, sounds out of crazy, guys. She doesn't want you to do too much because it's uncomfortable for her. I know, guys. You, you're, you're going, what? What? How does this make any sense? She doesn't want you to do too much. She doesn't want you to spend a lot of money. She doesn't want you to overwhelm her with nonsense. Because she's low maintenance. You give a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot. You give her a little small gift once in a while. You give her a hug once in a while. A kiss on her cheek once in a while. These things mean more to her than you could ever imagine, gentlemen. Because she is a gentle, sweet woman. She is a sweet little nugget. She is tiny. You hold her hand once in a... They don't require much. And some guys see this as a con because they want a woman who's really high maintenance. Very aggressive. Very in your face. Very domineering. These women are interdependent, interdependent, not codependent, not independent, interdependent. What does that mean? It means that she is going to give and she is going to require a little bit of giving from you because she understands the value of your gifts. She understands the value of her gifts and what she can give. She's very aware. And this is another thing that's off-putting to a lot of Western men. She's very direct. Traditional form to tell you what they don't like about themselves. 
They're going to be very direct about it. They don't want to hear a bunch of lies. This is another thing about traditional form when Western men don't understand it can be a con. They don't want you kissing their butts. They don't want this at all. In fact, it makes them sick. They don't like simpy behavior. They hate it. They cannot stand it. This is a, a, a lot of these things can be seen as pros. I know, guys, but I got to go over them because I want you guys to be so well versed in the traditional form of it that it's second nature. Hit the like button. These are very important things. They're never going to lose their discipline like this. Shout out to you, girl, girl. I'm proud of you for running. I know, guys. I know I'm, I'm really hard on the uh, I'm hard on the big girls, but as long as they stay in shape, hey, more power to you. <laughs> but your traditional form woman wants to know that you care. The way that you show that you care is you're strict. And she's not going to try to test you, guys. She's not going to try to S-test you like all these moronic, you know, dating coach Dan. Ah, dating coach Dan. Oh, oh, women are the same all the over the world. No, they're not, son. You are my son because you know nothing. Remember Jon Snow from Game of Thrones? You know nothing. You know absolutely. You know less than nothing. If there was a pie chart of what you know versus what you don't know to all the dating coaches, there'd be a little sliver. The rest of the pie chart would be nothing. That's what you know. <laughs> a vast majority of nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Two-hour stream, not bad. I don't know. I might do another one today, guys. It's probably going to get demonetized. Oh. Send in your super chats. I really appreciate it, guys. Working for free is always good. <laughs> Suffering. This is not what you're going to get. You hear that? Guys, you're not going to be getting that from your traditional form. Of it. She's quiet. She's calm. She's family oriented. She is very. Here's another. Here's another strange con. This is a strange con for some of the Western guys out there. They're not used to traditional form women being so affectionate. Traditional form women are very affectionate. Hit the like button, guys. Oh. Oh. Man, I'm running out of steam. Oh. I think I got a little left in the gas tank. I ran earlier and I did two hour stream. Hit the like button, guys. I appreciate it. But yeah, she is not going to go a day without giving you some sort of affection. They're very affectionate, guys. And what I mean by that is after you've broken the touch barrier, they're not going to initiate breaking, breaking the touch barrier, but once you do it, they'll do it much more often. You see what I mean? It's pretty amazing the way that they work. Don't ever forget. TFWs for life. It's an amazing thing. My legs are getting a little rubbery. Let's go this way. I still got to work out today. Crap. Got to do some laundry. Do all sorts of stuff. Another plane. Fantastic. There's not a lot of cons to traditional form. There really isn't. Most of the cons, which is, I know it's bizarre, but can be seen as pros. It's just I need my Western guys to understand if you want a conservative relationship, it's not going to happen in a liberal society. I'm sorry, guys. It's just not. Liberal relationships suffer and die in the West. It's just how it is. What's most important is if you're going to have a traditional relationship, you got to do it in a country 
That's traditional. That's traditionally conservative. With a woman who's traditional. And if you do that, now you're talking. Now you're utilizing your brain. And all this information for free, gentlemen, what I'm doing is, why am I giving you all this information for free? All, because of a lot of reasons. <laughs> but my stream's about to die. Donkey punch the like button on the way out. My phone's about to die, holy cow. <laughs> Donkey punch the like button on the way out. Figure the subscribe button, comment in the comment section. Hit the notification bell. Until next time, gentlemen, I'm definitely watching you. So let's get to it. <laughs> do it, do it.